What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie2988, coming at you live once again through the power of the internet. And yeah, I'm finally making a video. I promised you guys this video on the day that I got home. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to do it. I had pretty much uh, not got my voice back uh, due to all of the damage they did to my throat while incubating me or, or ventilating me or whatever they call it. Holy moly. So I, this is going to be a very short video to let you guys know uh, that I'm home from surgery, that everything went well, and tell you a few stories surrounding the experience. First off, I saw so many people saying, I can't wait to see Boogie after the surgery. I think some people expect me to have instantly lost like 100 pounds or 200 pounds or something like that. But that's not how the surgery works. So what the surgery does is it alters your intestines and alters your stomach so that you can eat much less food. And when you do eat food, you absorb less of that food. So this is a very slow process. If you want to see a rapid change, you just need to close your eyes in the next six months or a year and then come back. And then I should be a few hundred pounds lighter. Secondly, the surgery went way better than I had expected. Uh, the doctor did it in a very short period of time. Uh, he told me that my stomach looked healthy. My liver was enlarged, but otherwise was in very good shape. Um, and that I was an exemplary surgery. Uh, and, so, and now we're about four or five days out. There's been no complications yet. So chances are there's not going to be any major complications. Maybe some minor ones that will creep up around the second week mark or the third week mark. But overall, we, we seem to be doing really good. But now good is a relative term because the experience that I went through is very different than the experience that I was led to believe. A lot of people said... Uh, that, you know, some people don't experience much pain. Some people don't experience any pain at all. Unfortunately, that was not my experience. And I, I think a lot of it has to do with my larger size because the people who are larger that get the surgery do have a worse recovery time and do tend to, tend to have worse pain. And I have a fairly high pain threshold with, with the, the pain in the knees and the, and the back. Uh, I got to tell you, I can't even feel the pain in my back right now because the pain in my abdomen is so dramatic. It is just over the top. Now, the surgery was laparoscopic, so there's five little sutures this size, and these don't hurt at all. This is just a couple of staples. The one that really hurts is this one here, and if you can see, they actually took a big chunk of meat out of me, fat and muscle that's just missing. Uh, this is apparently the part where the largest instruments went in, and boy, this hurts like you can't imagine. Just ouch. But now when I'm just sitting there or I'm laying there, there's not a lot of pain, uh, especially with the painkillers they gave me. However, uh, when I try to get up and move from sitting to standing or whenever I get up to walk around or whenever I exert myself, that's when there's some pretty severe pain. The problem is I've been instructed to get up and walk around as much as humanly possible, at least once every hour for as long as I can, three or four minutes at a time. And I'm doing it. Uh, it's just very, very uncomfortable. Uh, but they say the more I get up and walk around, the more I exert myself, uh, the quicker I will recover. And I definitely want to recover quickly because I want to come back to you guys. I want to play some games. I want to make some videos and I want to hang out. Now, you guys remember the video games are going to be big, a big part of my recovery plan. Unfortunately, that is not working out, uh, especially the games I wanted to play like Final Fantasy 15. Anything with a narrative, a movie, even a TV episode, I'm having a lot of trouble following. And a lot of it has to do with the painkillers they sent me home with. I think I'm done with those. I, I think I'm going to swap, swap over to Tylenol instead because they make me hallucinate. I have to take them like once every four hours and it's just very uncomfortable and they make me very, very groggy and very tired and I can't concentrate on anything. So I think I'm swapping over to Tylenol to deal with the extra pain. But as it is right now, no video games, no television. I just kind of sit there and go in and out of consciousness. I'll probably fall asleep while making this video at some point. Just kidding, but that's actually what it's like. When it comes to food, I'm having the exact opposite problem that I was having before the surgery. Obviously, before the surgery, I was having difficulty uh, reducing what I ate. Now I'm having difficulty uh, reaching the goals that my doctor has set for me. We're currently still on that pre-op liquid diet, except it's a lot harder this time around because I can't fit any of that liquid into me. He wants me drinking 40 ounces of water every day. He wants at least 60 grams of protein. Ideally, he says 100 or 110 grams of protein, which I think is nearly impossible for this first week. I, and on top of that, I'm not allowed to take my vitamins or anything else. And, and I, I just don't want to eat. My body just does not want to eat. So I'm literally forcing water into me every 15 minutes. And I can only do about two ounces at a time. And if I drink more than that, I begin to feel pain in my chest. So it sucks. It sucks. This is going to be a slow process in which I regain the ability to eat food. And ideally, I would be getting at least 800 calories in a day is what I've been told. Uh, here you go. Yesterday, I was able to get in 368 calories, which is pretty good. Today, I'm hoping maybe I'll be able to get 400 or 500 calories in. And maybe by the end of next week, I'll be able to get my calories and my protein and my water goals. I don't think so, but fingers crossed. But I'm looking at at least another week and a half of that pure, clear liquid diet. Then I can start pureeing stuff in a blender and start eating things like applesauce or stuff like that in very small quantities. 
And then uh, two weeks after that, I might be on to semi-solid foods like, uh, you know, machine porn, tor- torn apart tuna, stuff like that. And then eventually, uh, six weeks from now, I'll probably be able to have my first bite of solid food if my body tolerates it. And here's the thing. Every person's body is different. Every, every person who gets a surgery has a different experience. So maybe I will, maybe I won't. I can tell you this. I'm in no hurry. I'm okay just doing this right now. I wish I could reach my goals, but other than that, I don't care about food. Food is completely pointless to me right now. Actually, food is kind of a source of frustration and pain. One of the most interesting aspects is I can already tell that my food tastes are changing. Uh, you know, my wife has done this diet with me this whole time, but one day in the uh, hospital, she asked if she'd mind if I got, if she got a regular breakfast, so she got some scrambled eggs, she got a slice of bacon, and she got a fruit cup. And I watched her eat it, and I felt nothing except I really, really wanted the piece of fruit from that fruit cup. That's what I was craving. I was super excited about a piece of fruit. I look forward to the next strawberry or next peach or thing that I get. But bacon, eggs, it just doesn't sound very good right now. It actually sounds nauseating. Of course, water sounds nauseating. Everything sounds nauseating. But that's the whole tool here is this is an opportunity for me to redefine my relationship with food. It's being forcibly redefined right now. And as long as I make good choices over the next couple of months and continue to make those good choices for the rest of my life, this stuff should pretty much melt off. But I'm not too worried about that right now. Uh, What I am worried about right now is just recovering and getting to a point where I can finally drink more than an ounce and a half or two ounces of water at a time and get to a point where I can get my protein in me and get it to stay down and get to a point where I can stay conscious for more than 15 minutes at a time. Uh, my, my big focus right now is recovery, and that means I'll probably not be making any brand new videos anytime this week. It'll probably be Monday or Tuesday of next week. Don't worry, there'll be new videos. I got a couple canned videos that'll go up on the channel, and I hope you'll enjoy them. They're not great. But you guys seem to love that Sammy video, so hopefully you'll love these ones as well. But the message I have for you today is for those of you who are worried, you don't have to be. The surgery was a rousing success. It was not complicated at all. It looks like I'm going to have very few, if any, complications. I'm already beginning to heal. I'm already beginning to feel the power of what the surgery is supposed to do and the tool that it's supposed to give me. And I'm already using that tool every single day to make myself better. And I hope that you guys are excited because I'm excited this shit, even though I'm very nauseous and very sick and very tired and in a lot of pain. I'm still excited. But you know what? I'm, I'm going to go focus on recovering. I'm going to go hang out with my wife and my mother-in-law who came in for the weekend to help take care of me. She's such a sweetheart. And I'm going to go have a little bit of fun. When I say hang out with them, I mean try to drink some water and fall asleep during whatever movie we rent. That's what I'm probably going to do. Uh, But that's what I should be doing right now. I will try to get back to filming videos for you in about a week and a half. I'll try to get back to streaming for you in about a week and a half after you see this. But until then, I'm going to go focus on doing what my doctor has told me to do. Listen to my doctor. Listen to my body. And take advantage of this window and use this tool to do the best I can with it. I'm going to go focus on that. Guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for caring. I love you very much. I'll speak with you again soon.